Welcome to this demonstration of Gene Analytics. Gene Analytics is a novel, easy to use, and accurate gene expression analysis tool that brings context to your gene set. In this demonstration, we will show how Gene Analytics can be used to determine the quality of tissue dissection and cell isolation procedures. We will take as an example the isolation procedure of two dermal papilla cell populations from mouse back skin, which was published in the journal Development in 2009. CD133 plus SOX2 plus cells were assumed to correspond with guard cells, and CD133 plus SOX2 minus cells with zigzag dermal papilla cells. The investigators performed a microarray experiment to compare the two cell populations. We reanalyzed the normalized data that was deposited in GEO to identify the top differentially expressed genes in the CD133 plus SOX2 plus cell population. These genes were used as a gene set in gene analytics. Let's start by copying the list of genes into Gene Analytics. We then select the input species, which is mouse in this case. We then click on Identify Genes. This validates the genes in our list. As we can see, all the genes in our list are identified. Let's click on Analyze to get results for this gene set. The result page in Gene Analytics is divided into two parts. On the right side is a detailed table that shows matched entities, matching scores, the list of matched genes, and tissue annotations. In this table, all matched entities are ranked by their matching score. Click on an entity, and you will see detailed information on gene expression and evidence supporting each matched entity. On the left side is a powerful set of filters that helps you focus on the results that most interest you. The first filter is the Tissue System filter. This also serves as a low-resolution result table and presents an integrated score for each tissue and system. Surprisingly, we see that the best matched tissues to our gene set are the brain and peripheral nervous systems, and not the dermis, as we would expect. This suggests that the isolated cells are not a pure dermal population. We do see good matches to immature Schwann cells, and to myelinating Schwann and oligodendrocyte cells. When we click on the number of matched genes in one of the matched entities, a table opens with information about the gene selectivity we see that our unexpected result can be explained by the expression of several Schwann cells and oligodendrocyte selective markers, such as MAG, MBP, and MPZ, and also by the expression of SOX10, which is a known neural crest stem cell marker that is enriched in melanocyte, oligodendrocyte, and Schwann cells. Using gene analytics, we reveal that the researchers may not have isolated a pure guard papilla cell population. Our analysis suggests that the use of SOX2 as an isolation marker may have led to the generation of a mixed population. Additional cell populations in the sample may in fact include neural crest stem cells previously reported to lie in the dermal papilla of hair follicles from alternate anatomical locations, or Schwann cells encompassing peripheral axons innervating the skin. In this test case, we showed you how gene analytics can identify impurities in cell populations based on our manually curated, filtered, and annotated gene expression data. As such, it is a powerful tool for assessing the efficacy of biological sample isolation. Thank you for viewing this demonstration of Gene Analytics. Register now and start analyzing your gene sets at geneanalytics.com. Feel free to contact us at support at with any questions you may have. We invite you to watch more of our videos about gene analytics and life of discovery on our YouTube channel.